inside all of us is a primal caveman version of ourselves which sometimes comes out. But what if you were side by side with our ancestors? What would they think of you? How would your stats compare? And could you survive as a primal caveman? Today, I will aim to answer all of these questions. So obviously eating is one of the most important things a human can do to continue to be an alive human. But cavemen had to hunt and kill their food. So today, I am testing two prehistoric hunting weapons to see how modern man, me, can compete. Can caveman kill with spear? Let's find out. Man versus beast! Here is my meat for today. As you can see, it's got layers of skin, fat, bone, uh, muscle, so it's a really good test if I could kill an animal. What you're about to see are all my genuine first attempts at using all of these things. I have not practiced with any of them. It was really fun trying. So I've already failed as a caveman because it's bloody freezing and I had to put a hoodie on. Let the hunt begin. If you like this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it so much and it helps me keep doing weird stuff for you guys. Mamo, mamo. Mm -hmm. <gasps> An effective throwing range for prehistoric hunters was anywhere from 10 to 20 meters. So 10 meters is where I'm going to start. Uh. Another mammoth down. My big mammoth has still survived. So I have procured the use of a field from the legends down here at Moss End Village. They've got loads going on. If you're in the Bracknell area, go check them out. Just imagine a few more prehistoric animals running around. A quick life lesson from Ginger Beard Biology. If a strange, baldy bearded bloke asks you for some meat, have you got any meat? You should probably say no. But when I asked JL Butchers in Wokingham, they said yes. I hit the target a couple of times at 10 meters. Here are my attempts at 20. Oh, so I failed at 20 a few times. There's no way I'm hitting it at 20. Um, we're down to about five now. I'm going to keep getting closer until I can kill the bugger. I broke the target. <laughs> I killed a mammoth! I killed a mammoth! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wound, but it didn't stick! <laughs> so I finally hit the target at 5 meters, but the penetration was poor, and so I'm gonna have to move closer. These are my real throwing attempts, and as you can see, it was very hard to be accurate and powerful. I felt quite pathetic. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know how far it went through. Oh no, it didn't go through. I can't kill it from here. I'm pathetic, man. Yes! <laughs> okay. It went up. It went through. And that latel is an ancient hunting tool used to throw spears with greater force and distance than by hand. It's basically a lever a stick with a hook at one end that fits into the back of the spear. When you throw, the atlatl extends your reach, adding extra speed and power. Ancient people around the world used atlatls to hunt larger game before the invention of the bow and arrow. First atlatl attempt. I'm not confident. The atlatl was surprisingly intuitive and easy to use. 
you could feel almost immediately the power and speed difference that it provided. However, once again, as you can see, the issue was with my accuracy. It was extremely hard to hit the target. However, hopefully you can see I did start to improve as I used it more. The only problem with this thing is like reloading it is so fiddly. And if I was chasing some prehistoric animal, it would not work. The fact I improved so easily after just a few throws shows how well designed the atlatl was for the human body. Did cavemen understand the science of the atlatl? Probably not, but they knew how to design things well. I just don't know if I'm gonna hit it. It definitely went through. I definitely a kill. The Atlatl also helped with distance hunting. Here, with very little practice, I was able to throw 25 meters instead of around 15. We know the distance between these two cones is five meters. Little bit of science for you. Speed is distance divided by time. I'm gonna see how fast I can throw by hand versus with the atlatl. A trained spear thrower can throw a spear anywhere from 26 to 74 miles per hour, whereas the atlatl allows them to throw up to 93 miles per hour, making it a much more effective hunting tool. So as well as throwing the spears, they also think they used them as thrusting weapons, which might have been more effective for a close range kill. It didn't even go through, barely went through. Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> that would be a kill. <laughs> the spear was obviously so much easier to use and way more powerful, but it increases the risk of injury if it's a real animal. I would not want to be using this against some giant mammoth or saber-toothed tiger. The earliest bow usage dates back around 70,000 years. This was a massive step in human evolution, as it allowed early humans to hunt faster animals from a distance, hugely improving survival. With a little bit of coaching and practice, I was able to easily handle the bow and make shots that I couldn't make with the spear. Yeah. <laughs> that is a kill. That is definitely a kill. It went all the way through. <laughs> okay, I suspect the damage. Oh. Oh. The bow was just so much more effective than the spear. Obviously, this is a modern bow. It would be really interesting to try a prehistoric style bow design. It's fascinating to think how vital the development of the spear and the bow were to our human evolution. They allowed us to hunt so much more effectively, unlocking thousands more calories to fuel our hungry brains, helping them evolve to the point we are today. Here we have a professional caveman. This is what a professional caveman can do. Look at that. Bloody headshot on the mammoth as well. This is kill. So who wins, modern man or caveman? Let's be honest, based on my performance, it was probably caveman. But that very special thing that I have up here, and yes, even some of you have up there, is what allowed cavemen to evolve. And homo sapiens, me and you, 
to thrive. Our capacity to learn is just incredible. So do I back myself to learn how to survive? 100%. Would I have died before that chance? Probably. So today, Caveman wins.